What's up, Capricorns? How you guys doing? I thought I'd go ahead and start this thing off with my cappies first. Something really be strange about my lighting when it comes to the videos compared to the lives. I'm like, come on now, but I don't know. But your energy feels amazing, Capricorn. Yes, those claps are necessary. Any negative energy is currently in real time being returned to sender. And I mean that. Some of you guys could have been doing some sorts of return to senders, okay? Um, this message is for the sign of Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Cross Watchers. You are welcome. Um, something went through my mind because I know somebody that's probably an astrologist and they're like, why is she saying North Node? I say North Node because um, Capricorn could be your North Node and while you're in your North Node, there's still parts of yourself that you are healing. And there could be some information in this particular reading that can be helpful on your journey. It could give you more understanding. In fact, um, check your North Node. Know what your North Node is. Your North Node is where you manifest at. It's your life purpose. It makes things go with ease. It makes you be very confident. It's no different from you being an amazing mother or amazing father. And the reason why you can do this so confidently is because that's your purpose. It's nothing to you, okay? And we all know that some people, they have children and it's not, they feel like they had a child and they still without child, okay? That can be significant to somebody, okay? Um, so yeah, this message for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, check your charts. Um, I am the Supreme Voice. You may find that some of the downloads that I, re that I receive and give to you may resonate you may find that the tarot resonates either way it goes drop me some messages in the comments get this video a thumbs up cappy subscribe to my channel or cross watcher drop me some messages in the comments all right capricorn check your second house placements as well as your 12th house placements okay the 12th house is ruled by institutions, uh, jails, uh, prisons, um, long-term healthcare facilities, hospitals. Um, also, just the imprisonment that one person can put themselves into, okay? But I'm picking up on an imprisonment that somebody else has placed themselves into, okay? Now, Capricorn, this could be you or this is somebody else. Somebody has placed themselves in jail slash timeout or somebody is actually in jail right now in your energy. The 12th house is ruled by Pisces. You could be dealing with the Pisces. We're also going to say that you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. It's the 12th month of the year. We also got um, the second house being ruled by Taurus. You could be uh, dealing with a Taurus or you could be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? I'm going to start off with the magical spirit. Capricorn, make sure you're staying in um, a very grateful type of um, energy. Um, I'm picking up on you being able to transmute energy, negative energy, depending on how you feel. I think something about your feelings and emotions came out in your last reading. So there's some sort of way you have the ability, and I'm speaking to every single Capricorn, even if you a karmic Capricorn watching me, because I know some of you guys do, or cross watchers, okay? I'm speaking to you right now because if you're watching this, it was meant for you to see it, okay? There's something about transmuting energy, but being very in a very gracious type of energy, okay? Roses can be significant as well, red in particular, all right? Let's go. Heart chakra energy. Somebody put you to look at love, rose, bud, tea. I say heart chakra energy. The lover, number seven. It is safe to surrender to good feelings. Aphrodite, passion, abundance. Look, the heart is lit up right here. Something about your heart chakra, whether it's closed or open, something could be revealed in this particular reading about that. Um, and your passions, whatever you feel is your passions, okay? Something about the heart and the crown chakra. I'm getting a crown chakra that's wide open right now, though. You've been having several downloads. There's been some things that you've been extremely spot on about. Okay, let's keep going. That leaped out. Number 18. Don't worry, darling. There's a rose in this photo, y'all. Don't worry, darling. You'll find your way. The red rose. I can't make it up, y'all. 
If you don't have a loved one, get yourself some roses. Overcoming obstacles, finding joy, carefree. I can't make it up. Capricorn is coming right out without me even trying. The number seven could be significant. You could be born the seventh or you could be born on 18th, January 7th and January 18th is out here right now. But look, did not say crown chakra, but also maybe your third eye, because I said intuition. There is an eye inside of that rose. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, Capricorn. What is up? Let's get one more. Oh, my, what more? What is that more? What is that more? What is that more? Somebody's wearing a bob haircut. We got number 24. You could be a December 20. We could be a cusper, December 24th. No, 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 no. December 24th. That's a Capricorn. So you could be a December 24th, a new year, a new a, a Christmas Eve baby. Okay. Trust in places you feel guided towards. Space, time, and self, infinity, reincarnation. Some of you guys are moving to a different location. You also need to be um, highly intuitive or you need to trust what you feel while you're in certain energies, okay? Whether it's a good feeling or a bad feeling. Um, really picking up Capricorn, you watch your back quite a bit. Like you watch over your shoulders or you may feel the need to. Um, somebody just went to a park recently or this is happening in real time or will be future tense. You will be going to a park. Um, I've seen like really green heels. Maybe you spend time at the park. i also seen somebody with their headphones on. So maybe you're listening to this with your headphones on currently currently in real time or you need to go outside in nature you are an earth sign you are supposed to spend time in nature for some of you guys you are like could be kind of hippie or very earthy in nature where that's the kind of way that you dress somebody's name is malia or malaya or mia okay those could be nicknames as well somebody something could be significant about miami m-i-a Okay, or I think there's a rapper by the name of MIA. I'm not sure. East Coast, the full car, taking a chance, and a sign of Aquarius. Yeah, you definitely have an Aquarius in your energy. An Aquarius, a Taurus, a Pisces, or a Sag. We've got the Five of Pentacles. Okay, what's going on with this Five of Pentacles? I think that's Virgo energy. I'm not sure. I don't want to say that wrong. Anyways, we got the two of swords coming out here as well. All right. Crown of Pentacles, Taurus energy out here. Still an earth sign. And I mentioned there's a Taurus. Something sending from my sign of Taurus. But with the when I said Aquarius, Taurus, Pisces, um, Sagittarius, those could be your north node. Those could be your rising or your moon sign. We got the tower coming out here as well. Let's get one more. Let's see what's going on in Capricorn's energy. Capricorn, I'm going to need you to also really, really, really like right now is the time for you to be very grateful for life and for you to not give a Okay, that just not given because I know that there are some Capricorns that can be like very worrisome, like things are kind of like, what about this? What about that? Especially if you've got dominant Virgo placements, you could be trying to perfect something. This is time to release, let go and let things flow. Jack, how am I going to make it up? Y'all see, I just turned that over. That's the Ace of Swords. There could be like somebody that's trying to make some sort of decision. Somebody's in the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles can be alone, but it can also be homelessness. Um, there's someone trying to make some sort of decisions, but this is it's, it's a king of pentacles in reverse. This person done went through something with the tower card. Like something has like hit the fan. Three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Something has hit the fan badly. This could be yourself or someone else, but someone I'm even getting with this uh, uh, King of Pentacles to the uh, tower that somebody did something they wasn't supposed to be doing. And now they got her like somebody. The Five of Pentacles could also be somebody that is go wing broke or someone that is. They're in the Five of Pentacles and they are in some sort of like, where do I do? Where do I go? What decision am I going to make? What am I going to sell? What can I get rid of? It could be a property. Someone could have to sell a whole entire home to get out of something. Someone could have to sell their car. But 
or this is your energy. We do got the tower out here, Scorpio energy as well. Yes, yeah, somebody is really trying to think and figure out the truth about something. Someone's trying to get some sort of clarity on what to do after something big has happened. Got an Aquarius in your energy. Star card. Okay, let's see. And then I've got the chariot in the... Okay, oof. Someone could also be mad, very upset. Like someone could be in a very irritated or temperamental energy. Um, I also want to say that this King of Pentacles could be a father figure that's done something. I don't know. This is giving me some sort of skip scan whammy type of thing. They did something kind of like, um, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. And then boom, something blew up in their face. The tower. Okay. And whatever blew up it turned out to be something completely different. There's been some sort of truth revealed about somebody that is a healer, someone that um, lots of people view as beautiful. Um, so whoever you are, you could be a public speaker. You could be all about standing up for human rights or standing up for things that are righteousness. Like we didn't say you was perfect Capricorn, but we are saying that you got some strong healing and intuitive abilities, okay? There's something you spot on about and somebody pissed off. Like somebody is almost giving me where you told somebody something was going to happen and it actually came, came to pass. And you're moving forward too. Somebody has hand tattoos. Half a corner cross watcher and somebody has hand tattoos. Okay, we got the five of, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go, mind your own business, sitting there like I, ain't, I don't want no beef. I don't got nothing to do um, with anything. Um, something also can be significant about somebody being vegan. I don't know what that's about. I tried it once. It didn't last for very long. The Fool. Okay, I'm also picking up with whatever happened. The Fool card is going the opposite way away from this. So you left a situation there we go more tars energy at the bottom of the deck you could have left a job you could have left an institution you could have left I'm, i don't know why i'm being led to say a whole entire state relocated um something significant about a tan couch a tan couch in front of a window that got a uh, horizontal blinds I can't see no curtains. I don't know. It could be sheer curtains, but I don't know. I see horizontal blind. I see a tan couch in front of a window. Like the like the back of his... Uh, there's a window behind a tan couch. Um, We got something significant about the sign of Aquarius. That's for sure. With the full car. There's something about like just being peaceful. Like not wanting to... Somebody could be irritated that you've said something that came true and you're behaving very peacefully. You look just fine. You know, you're getting compliments. Um, if you have a public platform, you're getting shown some love, something significant about two, two, six. Somebody's birthday could be February the 26th. That's a Pisces birthday, I believe. The number two, two, six is significant. That could even be somebody's door number or tag number. The number 10, something be, can be significant about the number 10. You could be a January 10th uh, or January 7th uh, Capricorn. Uh, yeah, oh, okay, with the seven of wands. So you stood, your, you're standing your ground. You're taking a leap of faith. You're standing your ground. You're doing your thing. You're somebody, you you really ain't even worried about something. You say, look at this. You perfected your craft. You're not, whatever. It's almost as if you said what you said, and that's what you said. But somebody else is going through it over here, okay? Like I said, this could be someone who's a business owner, but somebody took advantage of somebody's emotions and feelings, okay? Somebody also is in, caught up in some sort of uh, scam type of thing. It's got paperwork. I just seen the word forms. I don't know. What the hell? I keep going. With the six of uh, swords. I can't, I can't make it up. 
Yeah, you've definitely put your foot down, took a leap of faith, took your foot, put your foot down, blocked some, some drama out. You probably have to block out at least 707 different people. And then with the six of swords, you, you bounced. You were, actually, you were guided to leave away. If you're not in this energy, you're going to be. But something about this guided makes me feel like a lot of you guys begin your spiritual journey at this point or you're in your spiritual, but you're being guided towards something. What about this six of swords? Child, do y'all see these cars sleeping? With the six, oh, okay. So you turned your back on something. You turned your back on breadcrumbs. Uh, you could have water in your chart or you could be cross watching for a Capricorn and you could be a Pisces. This is my Pisces car, but you could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, somebody tried to give you less and you knew it because water signs can be very psychic. Um, water signs can be very intuitive. And I said something about your, uh, your heart, your third eye, your crown chakra being very strong right now. Okay, but you, you definitely, it's, you know what? Somebody think you bougie and sadity too. Somebody's like, I know you did. I know you did, Capricorn. Act like I wasn't good enough. Y'all cars are jumping with the 10 of wands in reverse. Somebody, Capricorn, you literally do not have beef with somebody with the 10 of wands. Like literally, you just refuse someone's lousy offer. You refuse for somebody to give you less. Somebody's trying to, whatever they gave you, someone's trying to give you cheap. The cheapest of the cheap, cheap energy, cheap love, crumbs, junk, bottom of the barrel. Magician, okay. Virgo, um, Gemini energy. Okay, the higher font. Came out here. We got two majors going on. Taurus energy here. Um, definitely check your second house placement. Your second house placement could be... I don't know why I'm getting ready to say this, but right when I said check your second house placement, I just seen Aries. You're, someone could have... Or you're dealing with an Aries. But right when I said it, as I went like this, it was like Aries. Something significant about the Aries, even though the higher font just came out here. Taurus rules the second house, okay? Um, hmm, who is this? Who is this, please? Ooh, okay. This is someone else's energy. This is not yours. Let's just see what else is going on. Somebody, okay, this is the problem with the sun card. Could be dealing with the Leo, don't have to be. Something could be significant about Leo season. Somebody is walking around there, and I can't even make it up. Somebody around there um, attracting, with the uh, magician card out here, a bunch of low life. Whether you are masculine or feminine, somebody is around there getting into partnerships that they can't get nothing out of. Someone is miserable, and they're attracting empresses in reverse. Like, this could be they're attracting mother figures who don't care about their children or mother figures who don't care don't care for their own children. Like, if this is a feminine, she's attracting masculines who don't want to be bothered with her children or don't like children. Okay, there's something significant about this. You could have, your children could have let you know that this is going on. Or if you are a feminine, this masculine is attracting women who don't have nurturing abilities. Like they're very disconnected when it comes to feelings and emotions, okay? Someone could also be kind of filthy. Filthy as in bathing, as in the way that they take care of themselves with the Knight of Pentacles. So someone's very disappointed. Someone could also be trying to link up with specific kinds of people to match their whatever. I said somebody super disappointment, a super disappointed disappointment. Somebody is in a relationship with somebody that has, there's some sort of disappointments that's occurred. A setup went bad. And I'm also picking up one of you guys, somebody I'm talking to, cross watcher or Capricorn, you've missed some sort of appointment. Okay, there's some sort of appointment you need to set. 
or that you need to get taken care of. It could be a doctor's appointment, it could be any appointment, it could be appointment for paperwork, I don't know, but there's something about a missed appointment, okay? Um, something about like wooden floors, but they're not wooden, they're not brown. They're like floors, but they're, like I said, they're, they're wooden, but they're not the color brown. Anyways, um, all right. Um, yeah, so somebody, whatever someone tried to get to match their stilo, they're finding out that somebody, whatever they felt like they were doing to you is being done to them, but it's like, it's happening in the invisible. It's happening where they're like, it's kind of like somebody being like, oh, I'm going to buy this instead of buying that. But whatever they bought, it's giving them the results of whatever they decided that they was going to leave in the store. It's kind of like that, except in a harsh way, though, because somebody was pretty harsh on you. Somebody could have treated you like you disgusted them. Ace of Wands, I can't, y'all. It's all coming out here. I can't. I can't. Something is failing. Somebody chose somebody else. Mm -hmm. But you, I, this here that's coming out, this is all of someone else's energy. Because all I see over here for you is that you blocked out stuff. You were guided towards another direction. Somebody lives in a condominium. Somebody got their hair natural. I'm like a fro. Three of cups. Someone need to stop indulging too. Someone like somebody is not willing to do the 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 um the work. Someone someone ain't gonna never do this work though. They're never gonna do it. In fact, for them to do this, it reminds them too much of something that you've said, and that's what they're resisting. And that's how come someone has a problem with something because you spoke the truth about it. But because you said it is the reason why whoever this is don't want to do something because you said it because you were right about something could be dealing with a virgo don't have to be it could be a virgo cross watching for the sign of capricorn death card in reverse scorpio yes yeah, somebody won't stop somebody won't stop indulging something is blocking someone's third eye somebody is like this is the kind of person that never ever went to church but they're probably saying the name of jesus right now we got page of swords in reverse. Oh, really? Somebody also smokes and drinks. They talk shit about you. They gossip about you. Um, they don't have the same motivation as you. You you and this person are not a match. Okay, let's get that out the way right now. Um, I'm also picking up on like they criticize you quite a bit. Like they they literally gossip a lot about you. They could be drinking like amongst people, smoking, um, doing something. They could even be sexing whoever they sex and they talk reckless about you. Someone's very bitter. Let's keep going. Something about the name George is significant. The lovers in reverse, I told you. They sit around and they drink, they smoke, they indulge with people in conversations about you, okay? Even if it's some, uh, some cigarettes on the lunch break, a group of people, haters, okay? And they gossip about what it was like being in a relationship with you constantly. This is something that they won't let go of. Somebody is mad because you've healed yourself. I'm trying to tell you, the cards keep saying that somebody keeps like giving, like somebody keeps sleeping with people who they can't develop or grow or build with. Like, mm, hold on, y'all. Somebody keeps sleeping with people. Like, somebody's in some sort of continuous, like, Groundhog's Day. And if y'all old enough to know that 80s movie, then y'all know what I'm talking about, all right? Drop me a dog in the uh, comments if y'all know what I'm talking about. Where well, that person kept waking up and the same thing kept happening over and over again. Somebody overindulges, okay? Sorry, you guys. Whew. Oh. There's something that you're building right now. There's definitely seeds that you're watering. Um, some of you guys are wanting to buy a home. 
start a family. Um, somebody enjoys cooking rice. I don't know what all that's about. But that's what I'm channeling right now. Um, somebody, you're somebody you're saving for a car, saving for a home. It's something about this seven of pentacles or the ten of pentacles to the chariot, okay? There's also something about your confidence that's building tremendously. Somebody, I'm also picking up something about, remember I said somebody could be earthy or bohemian style or somebody likes to wear kind of like all different kind of colors and stuff like that. Um, you're attracting your soul tribe. People who are vibing with you the same way that you vibe. There's, there's somebody that wants to come with you, but whoever this person is, it's like they want to come with you because they see the attention that you're getting. But meanwhile, I just seen a five of swords. It's like they would still be trying to fight or resist. It's kind of like, you ever been in the presence of somebody that's saying that they on your side or that they cool with you but you could tell they not i promise you gonna know who this person is because even though you don't drop your emotions about this particular person this person still got problems with you okay last two cards in this deck i can't how am i make it up the six of wands in reverse to the two of cups don't play with me somebody's also like losing respect because of the partnerships that they involve it's almost as if somebody around them is like dang this is not like capricorn or dang they could have did better than this or they probably don't even realize that this is something that people are saying behind their back that they're like dang like oh that's they're right there that's you right now hmm. all right then whoever they in the circles gossiping with or running their mouth with I'm also picking up the same thing when it comes to friendships, too. Okay? Something is blooming. Mm hmm Someone's last name could be Bloom. Or someone has a name of a significant flower. Let's go to the regular tarot. Capricorn. Let's go to the regular tarot. You guys got some love on the way, okay? Some of you guys are entering into partnerships, 2024, 2025, okay? We're talking about romantics. Uh, this is like the second or third or fourth time. Somebody in the Capricorn, some Moon Rising North Node Collective or a cross watcher, y'all into ice cream. I just seen strawberry ice cream. I'm not really into ice cream like that, so I know I'm not channeling myself, but I'm not into ice cream like that. Um, and if I do eat it, it's because it's like just sitting around. Cause I think I had ice cream like a day or two ago, but it was just like, I couldn't even finish it, but somebody really loves ice cream. Okay. We got the page of wands in reverse to the three of swords. I cannot express to you enough how much somebody is sitting back and watching you. Actually, we're going to do the who deck. Yeah, we're going to do the who deck Capricorn because we can't write it up. Somebody's definitely sitting back watching you. Whoever this is, they're sitting back watching you. Um, this person's disappointed. I'm trying to tell you, somebody tried to set something up in a certain kind of way and it did not work for them. For some of you guys, this was something that was violating your privacy, violating your personal space. Um, that's too many. Even the ones that fell right there, that's too many. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put my little fruit plate in, my little muffin top. Okay, y'all? We're going to be a little bit better. <laughs> Hold on just one second, please. Well, no, I can't. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. We've got the page of wands, three of swords. We're at 28 minutes. With the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the Temperance, there's a Virgo in your energy and a Sagittarius, okay? Some of you guys, y'all about to go. Capricorn, listen to me. Y'all about to go like you're moving somewhere or you're moving with someone. What is this temperance? There's something somebody tried. It, it really gives me somebody's butt hurt because, ooh, the empress in reverse. Hold on a second. Somebody tried something and it failed. 
And if this hasn't happened, it's going to. You got a Libra or a Taurus in your energy. We also got the Knight of Swords to the Five of Pentacles. All right, you guys are giving off some real strong Earth Angel energy, okay? Um, there's something that you've been patiently waiting for that's coming for you. And it really is. If a lot of you guys are waiting to relocate or move or go on a vacation, this is happening for you. An opportunity is coming. It could come in the form of romance or a job opportunity. But I'm not going to lie to you. You got a mother figure here. This person is like heading towards your way. All right? For some of you guys, you could have like a mother figure who you're disconnected from. This person could be wanting to uh, reconnect with you. There's something about a reconnection. Oh boy, with the four of cups to the queen of swords. Okay, somebody, you could have a mother figure that's wanting to speak to you. Okay, but there is somebody else that's blocking this out. This could be a, an air sign, a Libra, a Aquarius, or a Gemini, but my, my queen of swords is in reverse. There is someone who wants to come towards you. This person's rushing in. Like, they, like they, I want to say something to you. In fact, okay, this is a prediction for somebody. When you get ready to move and you get ready to go someplace, okay, we're talking about road opener. Something is opening. I said the word bloom to you guys, okay? You're going to have somebody that is going to come into your energy. This person is, there. it's an empress in reverse. So it's a mother figure. And if you and this mother figure, you could be a masculine, are not in good speaking terms or anybody. This could be your mother, okay? This person wants to speak to you and there is... Uh, queen of swords in reverse that is refusing to let this person speak to you i don't know if somebody if you're um see because we got five of pentacles i don't know if someone if your parents is coming out of like sickness illness long-term health care facility or if this is a child's mother but there's something somebody's coming out of like Somebody is blocking this person from coming towards you, all right? Now, they are both coming out as, um, in reverse, this Empress as well as this um, Queen of Swords in reverse. Now, these can be sisters. This can be a mother. This can be cousins. This can be, like, co-workers. I don't know, but it is a mother figure. They're in reverse. It's someone who... What about this Empress in Reverse, please? Tell me more about this Empress in Reverse. Whoa. The Tower and the Queen. Oh, okay. So there's been a falling out. There's been a falling out a group a, a, um, amongst a group of people. Scorpio and Leo is out here. Or Fire Sign, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Okay. There's been a falling out. And somebody in this group wants to come towards you. But they're being blocked. Look at that. A betrayal. I can't make it up. They're being blocked. Even if this is not like family members, this can be like somebody that you knew. And all three of them are in reverse though. And you're coming out as the Nine of Pentacles. Someone that is standing by yourself. A one woman's army. Some of you guys could be studying, um, opening up a business, relocating a business, buying a home, about to move, get into a relationship. There's something about you and you're you're very spiritual. You're very enlightened. Um, it's something about you knowing how to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Like you knowing how to start from scratch or knowing how to stand on your own. We got a queen of pentacles in reverse too. Damn, you got a lot of people in your energy. They're all, all of them are um, in cahoots with each other and some sort of falling out happened. Somebody ready to take a chance and, and leave a situation. This could even be like a younger sibling. Somebody wants to, like, they trying to get out at all costs. They're trying to get out like in a scurry. What about this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? This Queen of Pentacles could also be embodying one of these other queens. The Two of Pentacles in reverse has got something to do with money. Somebody done took some money from somebody. Somebody done took advantage of somebody. If this is your mother, there's somebody that took advantage of your mother. Your mother feeling like I need to speak to somebody. I'm also picking up somebody. Your mother might need you financially. 
somebody um might need some bail money or somebody might need some money they coming out of jail or mm -hmm, i don't know what this is somebody needs some money you and the nine of pentacles you're looking real good even if you all your money is going to bills and you only got a little bit left over or you just got money saved up somewhere you got something stashed somebody could be in your business to where that's why i said somebody violated somebody's personal information or business to know about or somebody's assuming oh i can't a backfire i cannot make it up something going on amongst a group of people when it comes to property assets money value i said something significant about the sign of tars Taurus is the second house, the house of values. Something backfired. And it has something to do with um, assets. Total disappointment. Yeah, this is a group of people. And if it's your job, because the higher font did come out here in reverse um, earlier. Something has gone um, wrong amongst business partnerships. Um I don't know why I'm picking up like a, a pyramid. So it could be somebody at the top and it's trickled down to everybody at the bottom. A job, something that's not quite. Eh -eh. Let's keep going. How am I make it up? You got a bunch of people biting the hell out their nails or you could be this nail biter. And how am I going to make it up again? With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Money done slowed down. There goes the match. Some of y'all's daddy's involved too. It's got a masculine involved. Don't have to be. Everybody is coming out in the reverse. And this is all pinnacles. I said check your second house placement. Find out what's in your second house. That whatever that sign is can be your sun, moon, or rising. Because you could be a cross watcher. It could even be your north node or your Venus. Or... um. It belongs to some people in this group. Oh, yeah. I just seen dirt. Some dirt has come out. Something, some sort of disagreement. Let's switch decks after this card. Five of Cups in reverse. Yeah. You could already know about this. I just got to get one more on the five. Six, excuse me. Seven of Cups in reverse. Got to get one more. But I did say Five of Cups in reverse. Okay, two turned over. Two. Six, six. The number six can be significant. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian energy. Um, something could be normal. Um, I said normal. Something could be significant about the number 66. Somebody could be 66 years old. Somebody could be born 1966. But something then came out. And it's got something to do with the past. It's got something to do with something that a lot of people wouldn't agree with. A lot of people are like, oh, shit, with the six of wands in reverse. In fact, whatever this is, I'm picking up on something that is shameful. And the reason why I'm going to say shameful is because the, my Six of Cups is always some sort of past abuse, past situation that's then took place with the Six of Wands and somebody who can't get people to um, agree with what they're doing. People ain't following. Somebody is losing their power. Someone is not as powerful as they thought that they were, okay? And even though someone always had it in the bag, somebody don't got it in the bag no more. Somebody in this particular group is losing respect, losing a following. I can't express it again. You could be dealing with Aquarius, okay? Somebody's ready to scuffle and get the fuck out of Dodge, they're ready to just take off. Like, someone's like, I'm just ready to pack up and go. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it. Like, and there's one person in particular in this particular group that is like, I can't take it anymore. I just want to go. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. Mm -hmm. They all came out in reverse. Everybody messy. Everybody a part of the, uh, part of the a filthy gumbo pot. All of the seafood in there pot rotten. Ain't nothing fresh. This is the Wujet Capricorn. Let's just get five cards out of here. Then we're going to go for one more deck and we're going to be out of here, okay? First card out. Animal Shaman, okay? Connected to nature. I mentioned you guys going out in nature. Maybe you should, you know, go out in nature and meditate. It's got spiritual leader. 
and animal spirits. There's something about your connection to animal spirits. I'm even picking up insects. We do have a chef at the bottom of the deck. See, somebody's lingering in your, look how mad this person looks. This person could be very heavy set. They have a poor diet. They don't care what they eat, okay? Yeah, I'm going in right now. This person's a butcher. Whatever words you've said or whatever's going around, they're trying to butcher something up. Whoever this is has lost respect amongst people. Keep that in mind. They could love cooking. They could work in a restaurant. On the lighter side, you could be a chef yourself. Unless any of this is you. Okay? Something about cooking something up, though. Homeless. This has come out for the sign of Capricorn quite a bit. Okay? I hope that nobody's sleeping outside right now. I did say going out in nature. If someone's not homeless, then this has to do with unemployment, hunger, bankruptcy, and wandering. Somebody going from place to place. Something significant about outdoors, that's for sure. This, you know what, Capricorn? This could be a rumor about you. This could be something somebody's saying about you. I, something's got to break with this for that to always keep coming out. This could be something somebody is saying, okay? Let's get that straight out here right now. Someone could be saying that somebody's living in the streets, literally. Like, they're out on the side of the curb. We got a spy and ninja. This is always coming out for you, Capricorn. And I shuffled this deck, okay? So someone is still in your energy, spying on you. Someone is, like, being very stealth. A shadow walk, a walker. This came, something came out in the capital. I mean, excuse me, the collective reading um, hours ago, where I was like, it's almost as if somebody is like disguising themselves. They're like closer than they than you know that they are. I'm gonna shuffle this deck one more time. I'm hoping to get different energies while I'm shuffling. Someone's being very like. Um, meticulous with their spying. Someone's researching, remember I said, someone's using some sort of information they ain't got no business having access to. That then came out in your reading before. Whoever this spy is, especially if somebody's hired a PI, it's a male. Last two, we've got a driver and a swindler. Okay, so be careful. There's someone who drives a driver and especially if you are taking public transportation, um, this person could be a swindler. This person could be somebody that stole things before or steals things. Hypocrisy, they're disguising themselves. This spy could be a driver. Uh -huh. This spy could be a driver. Uh -huh. Whatever's going on, you're beating something. You're fighting something with courage. There's something about being smart when it comes to messages. I don't know what messages you're receiving, um, who you're dealing with, how you're responding, Capricorn. Mm-hmm. With driver coming out here too, I must say, because that came out in, I said something on the live and I said, somebody is like in a car parked next to you, but you don't know it's them. Or someone's drive-by, doing drive-bys in, in certain areas that you're in or that they assume that you're in. Um, somebody is closer than, than you know they are. Uh, let's go over here to the career and oracles at Capricorn and then we're going to go ahead and end this. You guys have been making a lot of wise decisions. Somebody's name is Raquel or Rachel. And something about Alexis. Someone's name could be Alexis. Someone could be hacking into someone's um, cell phone or Alexis uh, system. Or maybe you've suspected this because a card leaps. Make it work. You have all the tools you need to succeed, but you will have to put in the effort. You excel at working with your hands and fixing problems. Somebody, you could be a mechanic or you could be a feminine. And whatever you do, you have to use your hands to work with, whether it's jewelry making, um, 
something dealing with the body. You could be athletic teaching something. You could be a healer, um, Reiki, massage. There's something about your hands where you do something with your hands and you're very skilled, okay? Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Something is going up in numbers. I've just seen 2.9. Somebody could be um, born uh, uh, Aquarius season. Um, February 9th is significant. All right. We got honest work. It's okay to have a job that's not very glamorous. Get some experience to help you up in the future. Success is approaching. Not a quick fix. Don't expect a microwave blessing, basically. Okay, so something that you're working on is going to take some time, but it's coming. For some of you guys, your time is right now. Everybody's on different timelines. Let's get the third card and let's go. Something about Q-tips, your ears, your infections, listening more. That's too many. If nothing comes out, then spirit doesn't have anything else to say and I'm not going to force it. All right wisdom you're called to serve as a mentor for someone or as a role model and guide who can show the way use your wisdom and experience you guys are leaders use your wisdom i think i already said that somebody making wise decisions thank you so much for rocking with me capricorn y'all take care bye bye